You're watching John Moraine Tube, my YouTube channel. I'm John Moraine. Coming to you from Houston, Texas, United States of America. And celebrating 100 plus subscribers to my YouTube channel. One of the reasons why is because of great videos with great content. And that's what I hope to achieve for all of you again by asking you why should you care about the Monterey Historics? The reason why you should care, there are several reasons. First, let me get to the motorsports purist. The motorsports purist would say that events like the Monterey Historics are real racing drivers piloting real racing cars. Cars that didn't have huge tires, all kinds of technology systems. This is all about old school racing. In fact, vintage racing. It's your best chance to see the past meet the present each year. And for as long as I've been watching Speed Channel, this is an event that I've loved watching. I love watching highlights of uh, some of the classic races that take place. The Monterey Historics really steps out to me because you're seeing these beautiful classic cars, and you race and you see these classic cars compete on one of America's finest racing circuits that's been around for at least 50 or 60 years, Laguna Seca, which is nowadays Monster Raceway Laguna Seca. Now, what are some of the events that I like? I usually like watching the different sports car racing and GT class cars. I'm very fascinated about the formula racing machines, especially some of those kind of do-it-yourself kind of cars, where people will probably make a car from scratch to, to compete against some of the some of the proper racing teams like Ferrari and such but if it's one class I love most more than any other class of racing Trans Am I love Trans Am back when I got into racing uh, back in 98 or 99 something I loved watching on TV was Trans Am racing of course Trans, Trans Am in 99 was much was much different compared to Trans Am back in the early days and the car that I remember most from the, from the classic Trans Am days was that green and black Dodge Challenger raced by Sam Posey. In fact, every time I look at the, cla the new Dodge Challenger, it is just so freaking cool. Just that I've always loved the Dodge Challenger, and I've always loved the new Camaro. I mean, I, I love Trans Am more than almost any other class, including the sports car and Formula class in cars. Now, if you're expecting some kind of NASCAR bumping and grinding, don't. In fact, if you start racing too rough, then keep in mind, you're playing with history. You're playing with classic cars. So if you end up trying to wreck one of these, you're pretty much going to get banned for life from the event. This event is all about classic racing with classic racing cars. Real drivers, real cars, in a fantastic event. That concludes this video. My name is John Marine, and that's why you should care. Subscribe, comment, rate, but don't hate. Thanks to all of you for watching this video. Take care, and may God bless all of you. Love and peace. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that it's going get, to get, get covered on Speed Channel in a few days or so, but if, if I hear the voice of Bob Varsa mentioning this event and calling down the action, I know what to expect, because Bob Varsa is a fantastic announcer. He's my favorite announcer on the Speed Channel, along with other favorites of mine like David Hobbs, Lee Diffie, and, and Greg Creamer. Anyhow, take care and have an amazing day. Love and peace.